way things have been going, I can pretty much bet that whatever that little beast just stole, I'm gonna want it really badly in a minute or two. something. It's far below the tomb, past some pretty ugly guards. A dead alien sealed inside a crystal pyramid. Sounds like they went to a lot of trouble to hide it. Must have been important to them. A king or something. Or it terrified them. Remember, this is the land of the life crystals. Dead doesn't necessarily mean dead dead. Maybe they were trying to keep it from being found and revived. But this is where the ghost wanted us to go. The key to the last door was the key that the first ghost showed us back in the ruined spaceship. Still, you don't have a key to the pyramid, right? Besides, how do you know the ghost is our friend? Brink died by digging where the ghost pointed. I hate not having enough information. I'm working as fast as I can to get this stuff translated. I'm so close I can taste it. Fine, keep working. Call me if you think of anything helpful. He's very tall, or I'm very short. I wish I didn't keep thinking of the term bite size. Please be friendly. I hope you're friendly. I'm certainly friendly. Let's all be friends. Laham chiadnak trestolum, kalatisia nea um, eklash park. Who are you? Ihr Klatzig, Klatzigstar. Why were you so carefully protected? Nayak Najud Sasu. These life crystals. I hope it's okay that we've been kind of borrowing and using them. I mean, good thing, huh? Because here you are. Ihr Klatzig. Well, hey, thanks. It's been great talking to you. So long. You can go back to sleep now or whatever. I better tell Maggie about this. Yes? What? Maggie, you won't believe what just happened. Boston, I think I've got it. I've got the language. I can read this stuff now. Can you speak it? Because I've got this... But take this inscription here. I'm pretty sure it's talking about... Maggie? My mind must be playing tricks on me. What were you saying about... Oh! What do you want? What's happening? What's going on? Boston! Brink! Has anybody? Has... Maggie! Brink! Come in! Wherever you are, we need you! Something's happened to Maggie! Damn.
bat things are up on the ceiling. What do I have that can... Come on, guys. Let's get a look at you. No! Go away! <laughs> going to waste one moment on such a meaningless task. Yes, you will, Brink. If you ever want these life crystals back. You're a miserable bully, Low. Typical military mind. Pushing other people around. Right. So follow me and do as you're told. Is that rational enough for you? Is that you? Are you all right? Oh. How can she be all right? She's bound up in that web. got to get by this thing. The obvious plan is for one of us to distract him while the other one slips by. Maybe you are thinking about it. You want to sneak or distract? I'll be the diversion. Come here, you phlegm, carapace, slime-faced, mucus-brained, furry-legged abductor of luminously intelligent but pulchritudinous earth women. Lo, you idiot! Why are you standing there? I'm still trying to figure out what you said. Move your silly buttocks, you fool! Where are you going? I'm over here. Don't leave me. At this point, I'm ready to try any damn thing. Water is pouring through that hole at a tremendous rate. This monster has me trapped. Boston? Where have you been? I've diverted some of the water from the falls. I thought some of it might flow through here and wash the monster away. 
Well, instead, the monsters got brain trapped up there, and I'm still stuck down here. down by me. If you can lure the monster over toward it, then when Maggie unclogs the grate, the water I diverted will hit it like a fire hose. This is seriously your plan? Do you have a better one? Maggie, can you get the grate open? Has anybody thought of the fact that if it does stop water like a fire hose, I'm right here? That's a good point, Maggie. Hold on tight. How do I hold on tight when I'm unclogging a grate? That's why you get the big bucks. Do it then. Just do it. It's only my life anyway. Come on, you ponderous exoskeleton. You cocoon-eating, lobster-faced, cave-dwelling, arthropoidal, elementary sphincter muscle! my hair. You're worried about your... I was joking, Boston. You know, like you strong, manly types do when you just about get killed. Maggie's safe now. I satisfied our little deal. So give me my crystals and let me get back to work. Brink, it's time for us to work together on... I said give them to me! Take one more step closer, Maggie, and you'll wish you were back with that giant lobster. He sure is weird. Now what? I've been getting the feeling that the ghosts want us to help them. As if they were stuck and wanted out. Stuck how? Well, the library console seem to indicate that they may have left this world for another. What if they want to come back, but can't? I don't know. How will we go about helping, assuming that's what they want, and they wouldn't need us when they got back? Beats me. I'm just interpreting. Shimmery. A light that doesn't seem real. As if it's just on the edge of existence. It makes me think of something. Something I saw earlier. Or maybe I read it. Can you look at this inscription, Maggie? Does it say anything that might help? Boston, it exactly describes that strange field of almost light. What does it say? It's a set of instructions. Now it makes perfect sense. I just twist this. Everything's so simple when you read the directions. If we didn't know better, we'd think that island had been there for a million years.
What was so important that they left us exact instructions on how to get here? Maybe that metal plate over there. That's the fourth one. If it's like the metal plates on Attila, these four should fit together in that triangle matrix. Yes, but there's no guarantee that putting them together will take us anywhere we want to go. You had the most cheerful thoughts, Ms. Robbins. If you had been abducted by a monster and then half drowned, you might be pessimistic too. But you lived, didn't you? And your hair looks terrific again. You sure know how to make a girl feel good. We better go find Brink again. In case these metal plates do the job. He threatened to kill me the last time I saw him. Maybe it would be safer if we leave him and send an expedition back to get him later. An armed expedition. There's no guarantee we'll ever get back. For all we know, this is a one-way trip. You're right. We can't leave him. He scares me, Boston. Worse than the monster. They're both just hungry for something. But Brink is smarter, more dangerous. We're smart, too. Let's go. That was a powerful one. Can you hear me? Brink, we're looking for you. We've got the last of the metal plates and we... Listen to me, Commander. I'm trapped. I need your help. Where are you? It's near one of the light bridges. An arch bridge over a waterfall and then into a crevice in the rock. You must have been there. You're the one who's been turning on all the light bridges, aren't you? Hold tight, we're on our way. Hold tight? Very funny. You just got your hand jammed in the rock? I thought you were in real trouble, Brink. Uh, when would it be real trouble, Commander? When it's your hand? I don't go sticking my hand in the cracks. I was reaching for a life crystal, and then the rock shifted. My circulation is cut off. No blood is getting to my hand. You can't pull me out, Commander. Don't leave me to die here, even if you have to cut off my hand. Don't be so dramatic, Brink. Nobody's going to cut off your hand. Don't make promises you might not be able to keep, Maggie. Are you serious? He's just got a stuck hand. It's a race to see whether gangrene kills him before he dies of thirst or starvation. You'd cut it off. Of course he would. The military trains you to recognize necessity and do it. It would be easier if I had anything to cut it with. Chew it off then! Oh, I would, Brank. But human teeth can't bite through bone. After all that's happened to us, this may be the most horrible. Do something, Commander! Do it now! saw off his hand with a jawbone? The teeth are razor sharp. What about anesthetic? Do it, Commander! Brace yourself, Brink. 
I can't believe you endured so much pain without fainting. I'm fine, but I need more crystals. Come with us to the Triangle Matrix. We've got all the metal plates. You think it's gonna take us home? You don't know where it's going to take you. I'd rather gather more life crystals. What if it does take us home, Brink? What if we can't come back and get you? Do you want to stay here forever? Then what will happen to your research into the life crystals? Yes, I see your point. I'll go with you to try out these metal plates. But if it doesn't get us home, then you two will stop interfering with me from then on. All right? You agree we have a deal? Agreed. All right, all right. should do it. Do what? What's happening? Nothing is happening, that's what. That's not exactly nothing, Brink. It's a door. You think Earth is on the other side? I think nothing is on the other side. What did you expect? The Tooth Fairy to come and fly us all home? The door opened. Let's go see what's in there. We had a deal. I came, these metal plates did not take us home, and now you will have to leave me alone forever. You gave me your word, and I expect you to keep it. He is definitely insane. Is that your opinion as a journalist? It's my opinion as a sane person. I saw something like this in the museum display. This machine was the greatest of the inventor's achievements. What does it do? I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think it might send us home? Right now, it's doing nothing. 